this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed creative fonts into a PowerPoint presentation so that when you share your presentation via email or a link, the creative fonts will travel with the presentation and not be replaced by the other party's default font set. To do this, let's open up PowerPoint, select the presentation that you'd like to embed the fonts into. Today, we're going to choose Classroom Technology. Now open. Once the presentation opens, you're going to see my title slide, and I have a creative font called Cooper. Now, Cooper resides on my font set on my system. If the other person doesn't have this font, it's going to default to their default font for their system, which will mess up the whole formatting of my presentation. So let's embed, and it's really easy to do. We do this by going to PowerPoint, come down to Preferences, once Preferences opens up, you're going to see three sections, Authoring and Proofing Tools, Output and Sharing, and Personal Settings. We're concerned with Output and Sharing, and we're going to click on the Save icon. Once the Save properties open up, you're going to see two categories here, Save Options and Font Embedding. This is what we're going to be using. We want to make sure that the presentation that you want to embed the fonts in is listed first in the dropdown. And you should only have one, but if you have more than one presentation open, you could have multiple in there. So we will make sure we have the correct presentation selected, then select embed fonts in the file. Once we check this box, two options will appear. Embed only characters used in the presentation. What this means is only the characters from the font set that you used in the presentation are gonna travel with the presentation. No editing can be done on the other side. The other option, embed all characters, means that the whole font set is going to be embedded into your presentation. And if the other person needs to add a slide, fix grammar, fix spelling, they can do so with the font that you used. Today, we're just going to be concerned with embedding the font characters used in the presentation. Once you select that, select the red X, Go up to File, down to Save, and then quit PowerPoint. You successfully saved the fonts inside of PowerPoint. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this tutorial helpful.